Hi, welcome to the Amoretti Test Kitchen. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very delicious recipe using our eggnog compound, our chai extract oil soluble, and also our Madagascar bourbon vanilla extract. I'm going to be making some eggnog chai thumbprint cookies. I know it is a mouthful, but it is an absolutely delicious recipe and it's great for all of the upcoming family celebrations and holidays we will be having. So let's get started, let's make these cookies. The first step here is we are going to cream together our butter with our sugars. And make sure you're using softened butter. And I have some regular granulated sugar here. And also some brown sugar. So into the bowl it goes. And we're just gonna turn this on and mix it up until it's nice and fluffy and incorporated. All right, so now that our sugar and our butter is creamed together, I'm going to add in one egg. In you go. And now we're gonna add in our flavorings. I'm going to be doing two tablespoons of our eggnog compound. This is such a perfect way to infuse anything with that bold flavor of eggnog. It is super concentrated and you don't need much. So this will work great for things like cookies. You can put it in a cake. You can put it in marshmallows. You're limited to only your imagination with whatever you put it in. All right, there we go. We have our eggnog compound into our mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to just add in a little bit of vanilla. I'm just gonna do one teaspoon of our Madagascar bourbon vanilla extract. And one more good mix here and we'll add in our dry ingredients. So now that all of our wet ingredients are mixed up, we are going to add in our dries. I've already mixed together here all-purpose flour, some salt, and some baking powder. And we are going to just put this into our wet ingredients in increments. So I'm gonna start with about a quarter of this. Next up, we are going to get these onto our cookie sheet. I have about a tablespoon sized cookie scoop right here. And after these are removed from the oven, I'm going to use a teaspoon and push it into the top of these cookies to make our indent for our filling. All right, let's get these in the oven. Now that our cookies are done and they are cooling down, we are going to make the chai tea filling. I have some white chocolate chips here, some vegetable shortening, and then also some spices like you would find in a chai tea latte. So first things first, we are going to melt our chocolate with our shortening. So I'm just gonna put this into our bowl and pop this into the microwave. All right, our chocolate is melted. And you may be wondering, why did I add vegetable shortening to this? So I added it because I don't want the chocolate to be super hard in the cookies. I want it to be really easy and a little bit softer to bite into, and the vegetable shortening will help us with that. So next up here is we're going to add in our chai extract. I'm going to use just half a teaspoon of this. You don't need much. It is very potent and very concentrated. And I'm using the oil soluble version here. If you were to use water soluble, that would just break your chocolate. It would get a little clumpy. We don't want that. We want nice, smooth chocolate. I'm going to be adding in our spices now. This is just a mixture of cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and ginger. And I think it gives a really nice, almost like chai tea latte flavor to the chai. Cause our chai extract, it is just the tea. So it's just the the tea that you get like a loose leaf. So I think a lot of people associate chai with a chai tea latte and those added spices. So I thought adding these to the recipe would kind of make it a little bit more fun. And they play really great with the eggnog, that creamy eggnog, almost buttery-ish flavor. They go really well together. It's really delicious. And now once everything is nice and mixed together, we're going to fill the crevices of our cookie here with our chai filling. All right, and there you have it. Some delicious eggnog chai thumbprint cookies. So before I can dig in and devour these, I do have to let it cool for a little bit because our chocolate is still a little bit wet, but 
you can count on it that I'm going to devour a few of these cookies as soon as they are ready for me too. So thank you very much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope it inspired you to try and make these at home and share with your friends and family over the holidays. Make sure to subscribe to our channel right there, click that button. That way you will never miss any new recipes, tips or tricks or testimonial videos from amazing customers. Also be sure to follow us on social media. You can find us as at Amoretti on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Pinterest. See you next time. Bye.